Hey guys, what's up? My name is Sam. You can, you can call me by my in-game name, Juliet Access. And welcome to another one of my episodes about how-tos. And today we're going to be talking about how to slingshot. Um, but first and foremost, I would like to take this time and thank you guys for subscribing to my channel. I've just uh, reached uh, 100 plus subscribers. And it's really awesome. And I uh, want to thank you guys so much for uh, believing in me and uh, subscribing to my channel. And looking out looking out for uh, all my videos that show up and liking the stuff that I do so really do appreciate it and I hope to bring you guys some more uh, good content in the future now what is slingshotting slingshotting is a term most uh, EVE PvP peers use uh, that describes another pilot that's cutting you in your ship like if you run an AB fit, like uh, I'm running myself right now in this fit, and a cutter shows up in uh, your plex or at the gate or whatever situation you're in, and he starts orbiting you at 20 to 30 kilometers, depending on his uh, point range, uh, that means he's cutting you, right? So a slingshot means maneuvering in a certain position in order to be able to catch him with your overheated web and scrap in order to approach distance to him and get him into your uh, brawling range. Now most, uh, actually, all of the skilled pilots that you will find uh, when you're engaging and they're cutting you, you will find out that they are, they are actually manual piloting most of the time. Uh, there is a button in the game that uh, basically <clears throat> puts your ship in an orbit pattern. You just dictate what range you want it to orbit or keep at range but that is mostly flawed and it tends to be really easy to counter so that's why a lot of uh, these um, better pvp pilots like to manual pilot and it's harder to do of course but it's more satisfying and it's more rewarding if you succeed however don't fret there are still a lot of people that use the orbit bud myself included to be honest keep at range as well so this slingshot will not guarantee you it will work all the time but at least and keep in mind this is important at least it will give you a fighting chance and I'm going to show you how to do it right so picture this scenario for a second you are here in the middle of space your opponent is somewhere around here right he's let's say 30 to 40 kilometers away from you now your immediate instinct is being after burner fed is to go straight towards him, right? You'd be right. Your, the opponent's immediate instinct is to uh, approach you and then set his orbit range about 20 kilometers. That's generally how people orbit. Now, if your opponent use, uh, uh, uses manual piloting, he'll go something like this, right? Straight up and try to form a circle around you. However, if your opponent uses the orbit button, his ship will likely go something like this and then start to orbit you, right? Because this is how the system works. The, the computer, first and foremost, when you press orbit or keep a range, the first thing that the computer tries to do is approach uh, your ship to your opponent's ship. And then when you hit the the radius, the edge of the orbiting uh, distance that you set up, be it 20 kilometers, then the, your ship will start to begin its orbit. However, if you might, if you might, uh, if you manual pilot, which most elite PvP players do, he, uh, the, the players will actually start to orbit way out further. So, if if he does that, that means uh, burning straight towards him will never work because he will know immediately and instantly that you cannot uh, match speeds enough to catch him before he starts to orbit however if he uh, uses the computer the algorithm set up by Eve's computer to orbit then you might have a chance because he's gonna burn directly towards you while you burn directly towards him so before he uh, so the moment he reaches his range for uh, orbiting you might have a chance to be close enough to hit him with a scrap of web. Now, if that doesn't work, no problem. I'll just refresh this a bit. And I'll teach you how, how uh, the slingshot works. So, let's say for instance you were burning towards him at first, right? 
he was burning towards you again and he started to orbit you now you didn't manage to catch him in the scram web no worries there's still a chance what you want to do is if let's make this really nice if he's starting to orbit in you right in this scenario what you want to do is if he's in this spot in the orbit you want to go somewhere around and of course if he's in this spot and he's going like this in this direction for example what you want to do is try to burn immediately in the opposite direction because what that does is now let me explain to you how orbiting works if uh, if you go in the opposite direction like I'm showing you here the your opponent ship which is this guy who's orbiting you is uh, the east computer will automatically try to correct the orbit that means when he's going around uh, orbiting you like this and you start to burn in that direction he will immediately try to correct it by uh, approaching you even greater instead of uh, doing it wider because he's trying to keep uh, the distance that was set up by you and that's the thing we, we're trying to focus on right because if he does that then automatically he's coming closer to you right so you do this first and foremost he tries to correct you right he's still at some distance away you manage to burn a bit of a distance away yourself now let's say he's around this point right now you're still not close enough to him no problem what you want to do is shut off your uh, afterburner and immediately start to burn in the opposite direction again now what that will do is of course the ship's uh, computer will try to uh, fix the trajectory again in order to get him into your orbit and the moment he comes back around and goes like this let me just leave everything to be more clear that's him and this is you the moment he comes back around to go like this he will be immediately behind you and this is where your slingshot will come in because for him to correct his approach he will have to burn uh, at a higher speed he being microbe drive it will be far harder for him to stop and go back the other way around to correct his range because to orbit at 20 kilometers he has to keep at range 20 kilometers and that's when you pounce you have to wait for the perfect moment when you see his burning directly towards you which you will see by looking at your overview and uh, immediately seeing the transversal or the approach angle is is uh, reduced to zero and his speed and uh, his speed approaching you is way greater because you will see something like 24 22 28 you'll see here is the speed approaching be really great uh, really great and really really high so when you see that that is the moment when you turn around and go straight back to him and if all goes as planned you will catch him if not try again no worries now another trick that you can do before you get into that kind of a situation because that situation takes a bit of while right it doesn't right it doesn't really uh work at the first try you gotta go into one direction gotta go into a different direction and then you gotta go back towards him what you can do however if he's not fast enough if he's, he's cutting you but he's a bit slower than you no problem say for example you're here again this is the orbit pattern again that he's going he's going in this direction right what you can do is try to determine in what direction he's going right and try to go in towards his direction that he will become up against this is what I try first and foremost before I try the slingshot because <clears throat> oftentimes you can you can make this work or at least what you can do is if you have weapons that can shoot up to 10 kilometers if you have projectiles for example you can maybe get a lucky pot shot in or two and maybe uh, uh, scare them off or something so if he, if he goes in this direction you want to look into space and see the direct direction he's going in, and you want to kind of uh, get a sense to where he will be in space and just right click in space and go towards that direction and even if you don't catch him and you mess up that's fine just keep going in the same direction because he will move right past you and again he will be uh, in going into basically into the opposite direction so his onboard CPU will have to compensate and uh, change the trajectory to go back towards you and that's when you perform your slingshot turn around and go back and wow you got him be amazing, man. Awesome. 
painting skills but don't worry if you do not like my painting I can show you some in-game footage and I will explain to you step by step on how I proceeded with the slingshot so you're definitely gonna like that stay tuned so I showed up to this place and there was this Tristan that just fought an Atron and killed him now I can see by the distances that the Tristan was cutting so the Atron was after Merfin most likely but I figured why not let's have a chance let's take my chance to see what happens uh, by the time I tried to engage the Tristan and the cursor showed up, but uh, that's fine. Now as you can see here, I'm trying to determine the Tristan's orbit pattern and I'm trying to click in space to the direction that he's going to in order to try and catch him. Uh, my attempts were interesting enough, close enough, because uh, he was, I could get him into 14 kilometer range, which was just one kilometer more than uh, my um, overheated afterburners range. So by the time I realized I can't, uh, I can't really catch him in that way. I just, I just decided to align towards the selection in a different direction and just burn away. And it, as you can see here, I managed to get away from him, and I was able to warp out if I wanted to. But at the split second, I decided to stay back, and luckily I did because I noticed his speed was greatly increasing and coming straight towards me. And that's when I turned around and boom, webbed grand and in my mercy and that's how you do it just also remember to try and keep the web of the scram overheated still because the momentum that he's carrying when he's at a micro driving at max speed will uh, sometimes get him outside uh, even if you apply the web and the scram at him his momentum will keep him going enough to, to get away from the your web and scram so make sure you keep that overheated till you're sure that you got it that's pretty much it for him. You know, this excitement actually turned off my guns for a moment. Don't know why, don't ask me. I guess I was uh, happy enough that I caught him. Also got his pod. I think he was frustrated he forgot to warp off. And you can see the excitement in myself as I'm performing a little dance there, running away from the incursus. So as you can see here, I'm trying to attempt to kill the Trasher, which I tried again before, but I nearly got myself killed because he's already fed my cloak drive. And uh, this time around, instead of burning towards him and trying to catch him, I decided to burn right opposed to him. As you can see me, I'm uh, benefiting from the vulnerability time, I'm right clicking the space above, opposed to him, and uh, starting to uh, burn away from him. Now I'm not overheating my AB because my speed is more than enough to get it out of his range. He's uh, a bigger ship, so it uh, tends to take him a while to uh, uh, redirect himself. And now I'm waiting for the perfect op opportunity, which here it is. As you can see, his speed is greatly increased in towards my direction. So I turn around and try to burn towards him. Now with my overheated web, I uh, got just close enough and web him down because again, with his size and micro drive, it will take him a while to redirect himself. However, that web was uh, slowly slowing me down. I had still had to scram him down to get uh, uh, quicker into range, and here I did. And at this moment, I decided I was approaching him too uh, too steep, too at zero. So I decided to change a bit my angle of trajectory just to avoid that last shot. And as you can see, I'm uh, orbiting him at 500, nice and easy, with 2% structure left. Yeah, that was. That was a bit lucky on my end, but still, um, really awesome that uh, slingshot works out. And that is, ladies and gentlemen, how you slingshot a ship, right? It's uh, not that hard, but it can be easy if you practice. So as you saw, guys, from the fight examples, um, slingshotting is doable. It, I cannot guarantee it works every time, but up against cutting ships that are slower than 3.5 k meters per second is definitely doable um, you just gotta practice and just gotta try and uh, sometimes you'll uh, you'll actually manage to pull it off and the thing about it is like I said it doesn't guarantee you will catch your targets but at least it will give you a fighting chance and that's what it counts on EVE having a fighting chance because you're not gonna have fair fights uh, you're not gonna have people that will just uh, let you go um, 
everyone is evil, everyone is out to get you, and at least uh, if you're in afterburning ship and up against a counter, uh, knowing how to slingshot will definitely give you a fighting chance. Right, I hope you guys enjoyed my video, and before I uh, let you go, I just want to say a quick word. If I'm going to leave a little link in uh, the video description, that link goes to Patreon, which is an awesome site because since, um, by the way, what date is today? Um, February 15, never mind. On February the 20th, uh, YouTube will gonna cut me off from uh, making any money out of advertisements because actually my long-term goal is to try to make uh, a living based out of out of uh, YouTube videos because I love playing games and I love sharing my uh, games uh, gameplay with you guys and I hope to make a living out of it. But YouTube will gonna cut me out because I don't have 1,000 subscribers or something like that. <clears throat> So I decided to uh, join Patreon, which is an awesome site, and this is why I wanted to tell you that it's not it's not mandatory. It's just how you feel, but I just want to say that with uh, a minimum of, a minimum of one dollar per month, you can really help me out and uh, support me and making these awesome videos that uh, I hope you guys enjoy. And yeah, that's pretty much it. I'm gonna leave a link to in the video description. I'm also going to leave uh, the comment fit in there, so go ahead and check it out. And uh, I hope you guys are okay and uh, enjoy my video. Alright, see you in the next one. Bye.